Hey guys, Sam here. Today I am here with a, another collab with the same gorgeous girl, Gordylicious Pink Doll. Her name's Amy. I absolutely adore her. Um, she has a goal to film a video and post a video every day for the rest of the month. So I think that's awesome. I'm really proud of her. I personally don't have the time for it and I wish I did, but whatever. But anyway, um, we decided to do a Disney theme, if you can't tell already. Um, I don't know exactly what she's doing. I don't know if she's doing, like, Disney-inspired makeup, which she has done before. Like, she's done, like, like Belle-inspired makeup. Like, it's really, really cute. The direction I decided to go in was um, makeup that you would wear to Disney World. So I'm going to Disney World in May with my friend, and I'm so excited but the thing is, we're going to be having, like, 12, 14, 16 hour long days. Like, we're in the parks nonstop. We got park hoppers. We just, like, want to be in the parks nonstop, like, doing stuff. We're not going to be spending time at our hotel or anything like that. We are staying in the Disney um, resort area, though. Um, so, I just, like, did a simple, like, long-lasting, I feel like, makeup look that I would wear at Disney. I drew on little Mickey ears. That was like a last minute decision. I didn't, I don't know if you would want to go that route, but this is just what I decided to go with. So please comment, like this video, go down and um, I'll link Amy's video down below. So please go and watch her video. She's super funny, cute, and talented, and I think you'll really like it. So I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so let's jump right in here. Um, definitely going to start off with a primer. We want this makeup to stay all day. I'm. You're going to be in the... Either Disney you go to, you're going to be in heat, pretty much. I'm going in May to Disney World in Florida. So, it's going to be hot. So, I'm definitely going to prime... And then I want to go in with a full coverage, long-lasting foundation. So I'm going to go in with my Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. I'm in the shade Nude. I've had this for a minute. I've, this is like my second bottle. This is good stuff. And I like it. It's thick, but it's not like too thick. It doesn't I don't love the smell of foundation. It doesn't smell great. And then we're going to pat that in with our sponge. Blend it down the neck. Hopefully I'll be tan. Like I'm going to go tanning before I leave. So I'm not like this pasty. Alright, so that's pretty decent coverage. I'm going to go in with my Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer. Just because I'm breaking out and I like, can't help it. Like, it is what it is. Oh, did you guys see my Powered by Fairy Dust and Wine shirt? So cute. I got it on Etsy. Um, I can link it down below if you guys want. But anyway, I'm going to use this little, my pot concealer to like hide some of these spots over here. Now that I'm looking, I don't think this foundation is like exactly my color. It might be my color this summer, but it's not right now. Okay. So we gotta blend that shit in. Sorry if this is a long video. I'm just trying to like show you how I would do my makeup for like a 12 hour day in a theme park, you know? Okay, then we're going to conceal under our eyes. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape because it's amazing. I might as well just like highlight the face with this. The key in traveling is you don't want to bring too much. And also since it's Disney, I don't want to spend like 
an hour doing my makeup, you know? Like, at home, I could easily spend an hour getting ready. Like, I could spend all day getting ready. If you gave me all day, I would just be like, okay. And I would just take my good old time. But, like, when you're at Disney, like, we already have, like, breakfast reservations and, like, shit like that. So, like, we're not going to be want to be in our hotel room. We're literally just sleeping in our hotel room. Okay. I'm going to bake. I'm going to use my Cover FX Perfect, whatever, Perfect Setting Powder. I'm, like, half loving this packaging, half, like, annoyed with it. Like, I don't know. I'm going to go with my wet sponge. Ooh, that's a bake. That is baking. I just like don't love the packaging on this. I think I'd rather just have like a sifter, not like that little lid. I get powder everywhere, like worse than anyone else. Okay. Next, we're doing brows. Um, I just bring my, I'm probably going to buy all brand new brow products. Lately, like not lately, but every time I travel, I swear to God, I run out of a brow pencil. So I think I'm just going to buy a brand new brow pencil. Like literally the past two times I've gone to Florida, I've run out of my brow pencil. And, like, one time I just, like, made do with brow gel and, like, eyeshadow because I wasn't wearing that much makeup anyway. But the first time I was, like, going through a breakup, so I was, like, I need to look good. So I had to go, I'm, like, we need to go to the mall and I need to go to Sephora. And I brought a, bought a brow whiz. And that was the last brow whiz I ever bought. Actually, I've been buying, like, drugstore alternatives. Oh, and did you guys see they carry, like, L.A. Girl at Ulta now? So, I can get my brow pencil that I like from Ulta, or, like, at least online at Ulta, which is nice. Yeah, some girls can spend all days on their brows. I hate doing my brows, so no. Nope. And then the brow precise. Okay. Then we definitely want to prime our eyes. This eyeshadow is going to be on 12 hours. Um, I'm using my NYX base. This failed me the other day. I think I'm actually running Rello. And I'm thinking about just trying like a high-end eye primer. You know, like I just, I'm going to go for it. So I've heard good things about the Smashbox eye primer. And the Urban Decay is coming out with like a new eye primer that looks kind of cool. And all the pro uh, the like proceeds go to like charity or whatever. But like if you have any other suggestions for like good eye primers, let me know. Because I've been using this NYX one forever and I'm just kind of like, I love it still and I'll definitely repurchase it. But I'm just kind of eh. Okay, when traveling, I don't usually bring like five palettes with me. I bring one palette and I bring like a decently small one. So, um, this is the Morphine Kathleen Lights palette. You can't have this anymore. I'm just using it because it's, like, super neutrally. Like, it has everything I kind of want. Um, I don't even know if I'll bring this to Disney with me. But, like, you can, like, make your own, like, bring your own metal palette with, like, your own, like, shadows and blushes and all that stuff. Or you can bring any palette you want. I suggest bringing just, like, one palette. Um, and then I want this to just kind of go with everything. So... Let's start in here, show you what I would do for like a day at Disney. I'm going to go in with this top like neutrally, like warm brown shade, not too dark. And I'm just taking a big ass Morphe blending brush and putting that up in my crease like real quick. We don't have all day to blend, ladies. We don't have all day to blend. Okay, and then I'm just going to deepen it a little bit on the outer corner with this, like, more of a warm tone brown. Okay. 
Okay. And then I'm just going to go all over the lid with this gold shade. Like, I'm just, like, really basic when I'm on vacation. Like, I'll use this with my finger. Like, this is nothing. I don't try, like, new makeup looks when I'm on vacation. I want something pretty for pictures, you know, because you are getting photographed. Like, you're going to be getting your picture taken a lot. So you want to be pretty and you want to wear your makeup, but you don't want it to be like too much, too heavy. I'm not going to be pulling out glitter and like shit like that. Maybe if we go out to dinner one night, like Disney Springs, and we're like, let's have like drinks and stuff. But like other than that, this is pretty much it. I'm going to highlight. I'll use this matte shade for my brow bone and the shimmery shade in my inner corner. So like the day we get there, we're taking a 5.30 a.m. flight. So the airport's like an hour from my house. So like I feel like I'm just not going to sleep that night. You know, like if I leave the house by like 3.34, like what kind of sleep am I getting? I don't fall asleep till midnight anyway. So, like, I'm just not going to be sleeping that night. And then, like, the whole day, or the first day we get there, like, we're going to land at 740. We'll probably be at our hotel by 9, 930. The park's open at 9. I'm going to go with my eyeliners, L'Oreal and my Tom Ford. L like, and then, um, so that first day, like, when I do my makeup that morning or, like, basically, like, at 334 a.m., I'm gonna be like, that's gonna be my makeup for the day, like day, like we're gonna spend a whole day at Magic Kingdom our first day, so like, it's crazy. So I definitely, and like we won't even have access to our bags until like that afternoon, because we're taking like the Disney's Magical Express from the airport to our hotel. And they, like, take care of your bags for you, but they don't get, like... And our room won't be ready when we get there any, either. It's like, we're going to check in at our hotel, and then we're just going to go straight to Magic Kingdom. This is me and my friend doing this, by the way, and, like, we don't know what we're doing. We've never, like, flown without our parents or any of that. So, it's going to be interesting, but it'll be fun. And then I'm going to go in with my Marc Jacobs Mascara Velvet Noir. This is my favorite mascara of all time. But, yeah, so I'm probably going to have, like, a little makeup bag, like, for powder and, like, lipstick and stuff. But, like, I'm going to pack all my main makeup in my checked bags. So I won't have access to that to, like, that night when we go back to our hotel. And we have dinner reservations that night at 7.30 at the Contemporary Resort at the California Grill. It's, like, really fancy. All right. And then that's just it for the eyes. Like, I don't do – I'm not doing lashes, I don't think. I'll probably bring some, like I said, for, like, if we go out or anything. I'm going to wipe away my bake. But, like, I don't think, like, the days, like, we spend, like, long days at the theme parks that I'm going to be able to do lashes, like, all day. Like, this is pretty. I feel pretty. I don't know. We'll see after the first day. I'm definitely not wearing lashes the first day, but maybe like after that, I'll want to. I feel like it's just going to be so hot that I'm not going to want to fuck with lashes. But you know my ass is bringing two pairs of lashes, like my siren lashes and my Huda Beauty lashes. Okay. Um, I can't see myself contouring when I'm in Disney, so I will bronze. And then, once again, I'm going to bring my favorite bronzer. Okay, so I'm going to go in with bronzer, my hourglass bronzer. This is my new favorite bronzing brush, if I can find it. It's the Zoeva 101. It's just like this tapered, like, dome, like, blending brush. I want the new Marc Jacobs one that's coming out, but it's like $80. And we're just going to go ham with that. So we want to be bronze. Look how, like, much pan I've hit on this. I like never hit pan on anything, so when I do, it's like so exciting. But I can't stop using this either, which is good because this was a fifty dollar bronzer. 
So I'm glad I actually used it. Like I still have that Too Faced one and I bought that way before this and that was like $40 and I just don't use it. I used it for a while. Okay, so that's bronze. I'm gonna go in with just a blush, any old blush. I feel like I can bring, see myself bringing this one. The Papa Don't Peach from Too Faced. I know I've used this in like a million videos, but it's just a good blush. Like I know it's $30. So you definitely don't need it, but my ass spent $30 on it, so I'm going to use it. And then we're just going to highlight. I'm going to highlight, I think, with Estee Lauder Heat Wave. I... Highlights are like my kryptonite. So like I can see myself bringing a lot of highlights with me to Disney, but... I've been using this and it's just fucking gorgeous. I feel like there was like a top layer on it that I had to get underneath because the first two times I like wore it, I didn't love it. But the past couple times I've worn it, I've loved it. Like, so pretty. I love gold highlighters. Like, I can't help it. Okay, that's pretty. Down the bridge of the nose, keep this bow. Okay, then I'm gonna use like a facial mist, like the Mario Badescu. I'm almost out of this. I'm not repurchasing it. I have two Mac Fix Pluses I need to go through. And then I'm gonna go over my highlight again on my cheekbones, because that's just what I do, because I'm extra. So that's done, and then I just kind of like melt this in to my face with my sponge so it doesn't look as powdery. I just put a shit ton of powder on. Looks so much better. And then we want to do a lip color. I'm just going in with a tried and true lip color. This is the Sephora um, Lip Cream in 32 Nude Plush or Blush something. I don't fuck around with lip colors. I'll probably bring like one red lipstick. but I'm bringing like five nude lipsticks. And lip glue lipsticks, because they just last longer. And then um, I'm gonna set my face real fast. This is new, I have the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Um, so 16 hour wear, which I'll be wearing my makeup for 16 hours. And I really like the mist on this. Can you see that? It's like really nice. But yeah, pretty much this is the finished make makeup look. Uh, it's just super natural, but I still think like I still feel beautiful. Like I still feel really pretty. I want to try one thing over here. I want to try and draw like Mickey ears on my face. That looks pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. So, like, just don't forget that you're in Disney World. Like, have fun with it. It's cute. It's fun. It's makeup. But, like, this is just personally what I would do in Disney World. I just don't like to fuck around with my makeup when I'm on vacation. I like to bring stuff I know I love. I don't bring, like, brand new things. I just, this is how I am. So thank you guys so much for sitting down with me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you again soon, okay? Bye!